The Hawkesbury River is well known for its fresh oysters. Sheridan Beaumont's farm has been operating here for more than a decade, but now it's in survival mode. Earlier this year, she lost about half her crop to floods and hot weather. Then coronavirus hit, closing restaurants and wholesale markets, and she can't sell what's left. It's been a very difficult time for everyone. And that's everyone in this area as well. And I assume that all oyster farmers are probably going through the same thing, given that 90% of our oysters probably are sold to restaurants directly. Like others, Sheridan is being forced to quickly adapt, looking to sell online, delivering directly to consumers. But she's still navigating exactly how it will work. Downstream, lobster prices have plummeted. When exports to China halted, Mark Cranstone was forced to shut down costing the business about $200,000. He's now selling to local markets, but it's hard to make a profit. Prawns and abalone have also lost value. The Australian seafood industry as a whole is predicted to fall in value by at least $400 million this financial year. The leasing price that we've already paid is about $10 less than what we were getting for our lobsters. So by the time you're trying to run boats, pay staff, you're pretty much running at a loss. These lobsters would normally sell for about 50 US dollars each. Now they're worth about half of that. And despite some international markets like China reopening, the low prices and high freight costs mean that for many, it's just not profitable to export them. Charter flights have been delivering some produce to international markets, but the crisis is expected to radically reshape how seafood reaches consumers' plates in the future. I believe strongly this will change um, our industry, the way we do business, the way we are managed. It, that, that whole world is going to change. What it will look like, we don't know. For Sheridan Beaumont, navigating new markets is daunting but also promising. She hopes it will lead to more opportunities in the future. At the moment, she just wants these oysters to leave the Hawkesbury River and make it onto customers' plates. Nicola Gage, Al Jazeera, Sydney.